Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and Apple has recently released the fourth beta of iOS 18. Now this update is actually not what we expected it to be, but let's go ahead, dive into it, see all the new details, all the new features and talk about what to expect next from Apple. So first of all, let's take a look here at the build number of the new beta for iOS 18. So beta four comes out with this new build number 22A. 5316J, this is the new build number, which indicates that there will actually be quite a lot of new betas coming out for iOS 18. Now, of course, the build size of this update is around 1.3 gigs. That, of course, based on which software you have currently installed on your device. On my device in which I had beta 3, but I didn't have the re-release of beta 3, it came at around 7 gigs. So that, of course, will be different always for different people. And now let's move on and take a look at some of the new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 18 with the fourth beta. First of all, on the home screen, you will see right here we have a new stocks icon, which is not a lot different from the old one, but it has been updated with some new details. Also, a very welcome change is that now on your home screen, when you have your widgets here, they will change based on how you have set up your icons here. So it, they go to the dark mode when you have the icons on the dark mode, which is really awesome. Also, we have another change right here. So if you scroll down on your app library and you go to your hidden apps, you will see here we have actually a redesign right there for the hidden apps album. Moving on into the settings app, we have a couple of very welcome changes here as well. First of all, the personal hotspot settings section is back right here on the main page of the settings app, which is really awesome. Much easier for you to have access to your personal hotspot settings. And then lower here, you will see that we also have iCloud. So we have the App Store, Game Center, then it's iCloud, and of course the wallet as well. Now this will be the same as the iCloud settings that you have at the top of your settings app. They have just placed it now right here. And going here to the network you're connected to under Wi-Fi settings, you will see that we have something called here, rotate Wi-Fi address. Now this has just been updated from the last version you can see right here it basically has the same description but now it says rotate wi-fi address moving on into the camera settings if you go under camera and then you go preserve settings you will see you have one more option here we have a new option for controls menu so if you want to preserve your settings on the camera app for your controls menu you can now just enable it here and we have more here under the settings app. If you go under the accessibility settings and then go to touch, go to assistive touch and then customize top level menu, you will see that now we have a new option there to type to Siri, which you can add on your menu right there. And it's pretty cool because it has a new icon, the new logo for Siri. And as you probably know by now, iOS 18 does enable RCS for messages and with this fourth beta, this has been enabled for more countries. We're not sure yet in which countries it has actually been enabled, but it's in UK, it's in Canada, probably other countries as well. So if you live on another country outside of these and you have RCS enabled, for your messages and make sure you leave a comment and let us know in which countries it's actually working. Moving on under the new control center of iOS 18 and we have a few changes here. So let's go to the toggles here. Let's go to add a new control. So first of all, you will notice a few changes here. The alarm icon has actually been updated. The same goes for the stopwatch icon. Now what's really cool is that if you scroll down here, you will find now a new section for settings. Now here you have a toggle which currently is not working, but it's called Bluetooth power toggle. Most likely this will be a toggle that will allow you to completely turn off your Bluetooth on your device and not just disable it. This will be very, very welcomed. Hopefully Apple will actually enable this and most likely they will add other ones for like Wi-Fi and other things that is actually much, much needed. 
and we have another new toggle here we have one for the eye tracking feature that the apple has added to ios 18 you can now add it to your control center now of course all these toggles you saw here they also work and they're the same they have been updated for your lock screen and action button as well and as you probably know we also have a new animation on the flashlight so you can see right here this animation that has it has actually been updated again with this beta and as i'm hearing for from other users this now is available for the iphone models as for the iphone 15 models as well not just the pros but all the iphone 15 models which is really awesome moving on into the reminders app we have a really nice touch here so on the reminders app you will now get the undo and redo button the same that you get on the notes app it has been there a long time ago but now you also get it on your reminders app on the photos app when you open it for the first time on ios 18 beta 4 just underneath your collections and your photos you will see this pop up right there it says swipe for more where you can view your favorite and all your collections and all that so just giving you a suggestion on how to actually discover your pictures now with ios 18 beta 4 apple has added some updates to carplay as well we finally have the new ios 18 wallpapers for CarPlay, of course, they are on the light and dark mode. And also the CarPlay player has been redesigned and now it has a much larger album art. And now that we're done with the features, let's just talk about some of the improvements that I have been able to notice on the fourth beta of iOS 18. First of all, all the animations are way better, way smoother than those on the third beta. And then also if you go to customize your home screen, you will notice that actually customizing your icons and changing between like different colors, it actually works as it should. And it's much, much smoother, making customizing your device way better with iOS 18. And now let's talk performance. This is the score that I got on beta 4 of iOS 18 with Geekbench 6. So you can see the single core score is at 2830 comparing it to beta 3 2806. We actually have a slight increase there and we also have quite a good increase on the multi-core score 7048 on the fourth beta 6974 on the third beta which is an amazing improvement and now let's talk about what's next well i believe due to the lack of the new ai features on beta 4 i think apple still has to work on those and i don't think we will get another beta next week i think for another beta apple will still remain on the two week schedule so i would actually expect the fifth beta of iOS 18 to actually come out on August the 5th or the 6th, one of these two days, should we get iOS 18 beta 5, of course, alongside with a new public beta as well. This is what I'm expecting to happen. Probably it will, and hopefully with beta 5, we will finally get the new AI features on iOS. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.